and will take you to the Supreme Court where three panelists who are led to have made scandalous comments about Supreme Court judges have up to Monday, July 18, to justify why they should not be jailed over threats on judges. The Supreme Court on Tuesday adjourned sitting to July 18 to enable counsel for the accused persons properly brief their clients after the Registrar of the Supreme Court confirmed the court summons were served on the three Tuesday morning. When the court convened on Tuesday morning, the Chief Justice Justice Georgina Tudura would inform the court of her decision to recuse herself from the sitting, making reference to the fact that she was specifically mentioned. Justice Suluk Badegbe also recused himself because he was also mentioned in the contemptuous statement. The two judges were replaced by Justice Julius Ansam and Justice Sophia Ekufo, who presided over proceedings. When the case was called, Edward Adam appeared in court on Tuesday indicating he was representing the rest of the owners of Munti FM. The Supreme Court presiding judge Justice Sophia Ekufo noted that the nature of the case, a quasi-criminal one, meant it was odd for only a representative of the owners to appear in court instead of the embodiment of persons who own it to appear. Lawyer for the owners, Nana Atodazi, explained that owners of Munti FM Network Broadcasting Limited and its directors were out of the jurisdiction except Edward Addo. The court adjourned to July 18 with the direction for counsel to produce all the owners and the rest of the directors to appear before them for the hearing to proceed. Presiding judge thereafter called the three accused persons, Salifu Masi alias Mugabe, Host of the program on Munti FM, Alista Nelson and Godwin Akogan. After the registrar read to Mugabe the charges for his summon, counsel for Salifu Masi informed the court he received the summons of the Supreme Court citing him for contempt only on Tuesday morning at 9 a.m., pleading for more time for his counsel to study the summons. Justice Sophia Okufo asked why he was in court. He responded he was in court with respect to the civil case filed against him by Richard Asantiabua over alleged scandalous comments he is reported to have made. The other two persons affirmed the same position which the registrar confirmed. The five-member panel, presided over by Justice Sophia Ekufo, warned the three accused persons that the court will not accept any excuses on the adjourned date. Two radio panelists, Alison Nelson and Akugan, allegedly on June 29, threatened to kill judges hearing the Abu Ramadan Evans Nimaku case versus the EC, in which the former was requesting a deletion of names of the NHIS registrants on the voters' register. They accused the judges of granting audience to the applicants, a situation they claimed could threaten the peace of the country. Kamala Kluge, TV3 News, Supreme Court, Accra.